So, time for uh, the second step. So, uh, the fly is uh, just here, and I prepared the, the middle wing. There it is. So looks really nice. So let me then just take that one. And just actually tie it in. Well, wait. I don't have so much thread, so I'm using it all to secure it properly because I need to add some varnish here. So let me see how that turns out. There we are. I would say it, it's okay. Spot on. So let me add some varnish to that one. And then I can prepare the thread, etc. Meanwhile. And I'm go gonna use a little bit more color than Megan Boyd actually did in her. So they were really sparse on the side, little bit yellow, little bit blue, and and uh, uh, bustard or, or turkey. But uh, I'm gonna add more of everything. It's gonna be my version of it. So now I have varnished the head. Just putting the fly here. So it can rest a bit. I need to get some paper, sorry for that. Here we are. So what we have left is uh, the wing. We did the, the, the middle wing. Now, now we're going to add the sides, the real wing, and then young elk hook on the sides, and then just varnish the head. It's going to be, yeah, I think it's going to be nice. So I'm just going to varnish it a bit and leave it in between. And I don't varnish the thread, come on. Waxing the thread. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I'm not fully connected today. Uh, I hope that's okay. Um, I'm still gonna add re reggae to the to the production later. So, so hopefully, that's gonna be nicer to listen to than me. not much thread come on yeah let me redo that one should last for the whole fly.
And here's the baby. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna wind until the wax, waxed part is gone. There we are. Because I don't like the wax, and I'm tying in the wing. So let me add the fly there as so far. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna use much more, much more color. Hmm. It's gonna be interesting. So let me cut off a bit of that. I think you're gonna redo that one. Well, let me see. I think it's okay. I need to add some wax. Tied way too far ahead, so let me change that. As I mentioned, it's not not that easy if you haven't done it in a while. Yeah? I haven't done this in many years. There we are.
I steal the same issue. together <laughs> hello doggy so let's see let's get it tweak this one a little bit Really not the best one I've done in hand, but I have, since I haven't done it in ages, then I'm pretty happy with it. I would fish this one. And the tail a bit. There it is. Mm -hmm. So you just need to add some mala to it later. I'm gonna add some varnish and then I'm gonna cut that one. So I'm just gonna pause here meanwhile because otherwise it's gonna take some time. Yeah. So let's continue. So I finished the uh, uh, added the bin. So now it's time for, for mallard. And that's gonna be interesting in hand. I think it's actually can be quite easy. side So I'm going to have a 
different angle on that one. And the mallard is not really nice. I need to practice a bit more. But at least it's there. So yeah, this is the first fly I tie in hand in four or five years. So practice is everything, right? But I think it's quite funny. And the fly get, gets a complete different style. So if it's too clean, either it's one of the best in the world or it's made in a vice. I'm just going to pull a little bit in this one to give it the direction I want. There. So. Yeah, the mallard is it's not perfect, but it's there. So, so I would say this is a good shot for since it was quite a while since I did it. And then it's just the topping. So I'm gonna varnish it, just in case, since I need to be able to cut everything off. And then um, prepare a topping. So. I'm going to continue filming. It's going to be a big, nice, fat head. Good for a fishing fly. And you know the things will hold. I'm gonna put the fly here. There we are. They're doing a time lapse next to me, so so we're gonna see that later. So let's clean the dubbing needle. And we need to find a suitable topping. The small, the long, the ugly, throw that one away. Yeah. Nothing in the in the end of the topping. Uh, ugly. long so I wonder if I have one in decent length maybe this one let me check so we just take that one and we do oh come on it's ridiculous perfect 
that's our target. That's why I always prepare toppings in different length, not only the, the long stuff, even the small stuff. It's pretty straight, nice rain. Just removing the this uh, small feather there. So I'm just gonna remove that one. Let's have a look again. Yeah, it's, I would say it's perfect. Now we need to have some trend. Don't need that much, but still prefer to have more than less. So just waxing this one. Before we do anything, it's time to cut off the leftovers. Uh, let me need uh, this scissor. So I'm not sure if it's dried yet, but uh, let's start. So this fly is built a fish with, like hardy style. It's not one of those modern fancy frame flies that I tie sometimes. leftovers cut it's gonna be proper decent head on this one let's attach the thread Sure, if I can get that one off, I can try. I think I did it. I'm just gonna clean. Clean desktop is a good desktop, right? So yeah, it looks okay.
Come on. Touch the thread, adding the topping. Oops. Let's try that way instead. It's easier when it's a good thing, eh? And there you are. So I'm just gonna varnish uh, the head. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna fish with this one. <laughs> I'm quite happy, yeah. Not done this in ages and uh, it's working. It's not the, the most ugly fly out tide. It's not that bad. Hmm. So that's uh, that's how you tie a fly in your hand. Uh, no biggie. Just do it uh, relaxed and uh, don't hold the hook too hard and you know. Make sure the thread is waxed and if you if you touch your finger just attach it here. You have a glass of uh, wine or a uh, beer and you know then just continue when when you are ready. But now I just did it in, in one go. I think it took like an hour. If I slow down that I do it every day then yeah, I think the, the outcome is going to be quite nice. Uh, so I'm gonna take uh, a close up on this one later when it's ready. Okay. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, before I forget, um, I wouldn't mind if you did a thumbs up or you know actually uh, subscribe to my channel here. And I'm also gonna add another video here uh, playlist. I have uh, quite a lot of playlists. And if you want me to tie something special, specific that uh, you would enjoy, then just add that in the comments or reach out to me on Facebook or Instagram. So, okay, thank you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.